Well, hey guys, how are you doing today? Um, I hope everyone's gonna come to the live at three. I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys are. So this just came to my attention and I'm really excited about this. Okay, I didn't even realize this. Okay, so um, one of the girls in my group, Brandy Taylor, she noticed on one of these previous messages, it said it starts in the spirit first. So guys, Wow, I just cannot make this up. Okay, so like, we don't know exactly what God means all the time because he's so complex. But you know, the video that I posted the other day showed that the dates meant something. They were all of God's patterns. Well, I was going through my June 4th, um, 2023 message at 11.38 a.m. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll just say the scriptures, I'm not gonna read all of them, but you want to check out the video. It's already posted. It was June 4th on my TikTok and YouTube. There was two messages that day. I got one in the morning when I was at church at 1138. 1 John 3, 7, Amos 2, 9, Philippians 1, 3, 1 Thessalonians 2, 4, Mark 1, 6, Job 11, 3. <clears throat> okay, so listen to what it says. My child, Israel, what is happening? Is the sky dark? Is there peace? Is there chaos and destruction? I told you to keep watching Israel. Everything revolves around Jerusalem. The sickle has it withered. I know you don't understand everything I'm doing, but you will very soon. My spirit is first. Like, wow, I didn't even realize he said that. Remember on June 17th, you know, when he had us do the live and go outside at 522 and all that. And he said it happened in the spirit first. I didn't even catch it. He gave me the previous prophecy before that. God is so good. I love our Jesus. Okay. And so he said, remember more than meets the eye. What man doesn't understand, the spirit will understand. Just know no matter what you see, if you are walking in my spirit, you will have my perfect peace. I told you, you will see some destruction. I told you, you will see some chaos. It will come on you like a thief in the night. Keep looking up, I love you. Your Abba, I'm coming sooner than you think. Now listen to this. Rouse from the sleep. Do not forget that. The spirit is first. Then you will see it all in the flesh. Believe in me, confess your sins to me, and give me full repentance and turn your life over to me. I will save you, keep watching. I was like, what? Are you kidding me right now? The spirit is first. I didn't even catch that. And Brandy did. Um, man, it's so good to have childlike faith and just trust in Jesus because I love him so much. And I'm so excited to be at the wedding feast. Um, Colossians 2.9, Jude 1.7, Ruth 2.6, 1 Peter 1.3, John 3.9, Galatians 5.2.2 2 was the message of the day that day. <laughs> And then my Jesus clock just went off. I love you, Jesus. Um, I say, then walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh for the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revivories and the uh, revel revelries i don't even know how to say that word and the like of which i tell you beforehand just as i told you in the time past that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of god those people practicing those things do not believe in jesus they are not believers um and this is what he means by that we all fall short from his glory no one is ever going to be perfect okay so what's interesting about that video is the video length was 522, guys, 522. You cannot make this up. How can you not believe in Jesus? There's so many, like, there's so much evidence. Sorry, I'm passionate about our Jesus. Um, okay, then that message that night, 1122 p.m., June 4th, another message that night, 1 John 5, 6, 1 Thessalonians 2, 9, Leviticus 12, 6, Leviticus 11, 12, Ezekiel 19.4, Isaiah 11.9, Exodus 14.11. 
My child, keep uh, your eyes on Alaska. They're going to need a lot of assistance. The disaster that is coming, no man has seen. I know they just got earthquakes there yesterday, but those are just warnings, I'm telling you. It's going to be bad. The pinnacle of the Earth's atmosphere is chopping at the blocks. It's going to fall in. When the Earth shakes and the fault line breaks, disaster and chaos commence, and Alaskan finances will be hindered. This is part of the enemy's plan. They're using their witchcraft and sorcery to create demonic devices backed by harp. Man-made devices used to create chaos and destruction. I'm allowing this because my judgment is coming. Satellite 512 will be part of the destruction. A portal used by CERN to create radioactive waves when Black Death will be the new virus. It's all coming after Harpazo. So guys, all these prophecies are coming after Harpazo for the people saying, well, this never happened and this never happened. Wait for it. <laughs> uh, trying to save this from you children. I'm trying to arouse you from your sleep. Wake up, O oh sleeper. My warnings are to help you, not hinder you. You tell my anointed ones they aren't hearing from me, but have you asked me? I do not answer to prideful sinners who rely on their own works to save them. So you need to humble yourselves, get rid of your pride and seek me with all of your heart and I will answer you. I told you to love your neighbor. You spend more minutes in the day trying to tear down the body of Christ instead of loving and lifting each other up. We are in perilous, wicked times. This is a time to lean on one another and learn from one another while walking in the spirit and asking for my discernment. Many of my people are speaking my words, but there are many I have not ordained to speak. You will know who is truly from me when you hear my words and you know my voice. I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and my sheep know me. They hear me calling me home. They hear me calling them home. I've been sounding the alarm to save you. I have given my people dreams, visions, and prophecy to wake you up. Um, sorry, somebody was calling me. Um, uh, to wake you up. Uh, I told you in the end times I would pour my spirit out on my people. I'm showing you my ways are higher than man's ways. So why are you seeking man for answers? Why haven't you come to me with a sincere heart and asked me for answers? My children, I hear your prayers and I love you so much, but my time is perfect and pleasing. Yes, the spirit is first. I didn't even catch this. I have given you the key to my kingdom. It's up to you if you will use it. Do not be foolish virgin banging on my door when the door shuts. Children, the door will shut and it's so soon. You have no idea what is manifesting in the spirit right now. I'm bringing a supernatural peace and shielding from fiery arrows thrown at you from the devil. Children, there are witches and warlocks, Satan's minions trying to attack you. They want you to stray from your character. They are rousing you up to anger to derail you from your current assignment I have ordained over your life. Time truly is almost up and the devil knows it. You are going to see lots of attacks coming your way, but if you stay in my spirit and do not retaliate evil for evil, you will feel my peace, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. There are lots of events coming that are already taking place in the spirit. I didn't even catch this. You are going to fill that, fill that pool to heaven even stronger now. Some of you even smell and taste the food from the wedding feast, which is so true. I smelled strawberries the other day. It was amazing. Remember your father knows what you need before you even ask him. Do you know who I am? If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. I am your true salvation. When you are seeking me, you are seeking God. Children, you are still twisting what repentance actually means. Go back to the root word and ask yourself, so what did I die for? Why are you relying on yourself to save you? I told you, you will follow my commands because you love me. Salvation is my free gift to you. When you have my spirit, you will feel conviction to deny the flesh and walk in the spirit. But you must believe and ask me to save you. It has to come from the heart. I know every word you speak before you speak it, so you cannot fool me with your idle words. I'm listening to every word, and when my children and chosen ones pray, I hear every word. I know you are longing for me to catch you up. Please don't lose faith. I am catching you up soon. I already have the net and the water, and when the last fish is caught in my net, it will get caught up. You will get caught up. I'm showing you encouragement through my light shows. I'm bringing you encouragement through my anointed ones. I'm turning the dial way up and you will see my glory in the sky. When you see my light show, film it. Pray to me and ask sincerely and you keep knocking. I will give it to you. You can ask anything in my name and I will give it to you. You may wonder why my words say that. Evil men who I don't listen to ask for evil things. But my children with my spirit ask me and lines up according to my will. I only want my will for you, so I will give it to you. Have you asked me to reveal the plans I have for you yet? How many minutes a day do you spend time with me throughout the day? Reading my word, thinking of me, worshiping me, praying to me. And am I an afterthought or do you put me first? Do you think of me only in church when you are surrounded by other believers so you can feel that sense of importance? 
anyway, there's more to that um, message. So you go wa uh, watch it. It's June 4th. But how cool is that? It happened in the spirit first. God bless.